you know, a lot of people forget, but when John Wick was first coming out, nobody cared. It's right. like people forget that before Iron Man, nobody cared about Robert Downey Jr. anymore. He he was he was a guy who had already had a, a comeback and, and screwed up the comeback. Nobody was giving him a lot of thought at that point. And so when they brought him to the executives to say, we want this guy as our new Iron Man, there was obviously a lot of pushback and stuff like that. But hey, he became Iron Man. Now, it's hard to imagine a time that Robert Downey Jr. wasn't a huge, significant A-list star, right? It kind of feels like that way today with Keanu Reeves because he's the darling of everybody. Every, I mean, who doesn't love Keanu Reeves, right? But it wasn't that long ago that when this new little movie was coming out, John Wick, it's like, oh, uh, John Wick, oh, he's a hitman. It's going to be another one of these throwaway, nobody cares about Keanu Reeves anymore. But then the first trailer dropped one month before the movie came out. And all of a sudden, we actually talk about it in my documentary when this one trailer came out and changed the perception of the whole movie. And all of a sudden, people were like, wait a minute, this looks really good. And he has, of course, had his big resurgence that can mostly be credited to his performances in John Wick. Well, John Wick now has three films. We've got a fourth film coming. And there's a spinoff series, well, a couple of spinoff things coming. But we got a spinoff series called The Ballerina that's going to be starring Anna de Armas, which is great. And now, according to Variety, it looks like Keanu Reeves is actually going to appear yeah. in this spinoff. Uh, from Variety, they writes, Keanu Reeves is expected to make an appearance in John Wick's Ballerina, a female-centric spinoff of the popular action franchise. Lionsgate, the studio behind the series, declined to comment on Reeves' casting, but the company confirmed that Ian McShane has closed a deal to reprise his role as Winston uh, as the manager of the Continental Hotel in the upcoming movie. So we're going to have him in there. Now, it doesn't sound like it's going to be a regular role, that he's not going to be in it for the whole series. But to actually have him at least appear, to me, that will just give this show an air of authenticity, I think. Like, it's one thing to say, we're connected to the John Wick universe. That's great. And you can say that. But to actually, even if it's just for a few moments, to see Keanu Reeves pop up on screen, that will make it feel like it's home for John Wick fans. That will make it for John Wick fans feel like, yep, this is that world. We're here now. And so... I don't know how big or small of a role I'm anticipating is probably going to be small. It's going to be, but nonetheless, I think it's actually a really brilliant move and quite important that they do this. So I like this announcement. Anyway, Rob, you hear about this. What do you think? Important, not important? No, I think it's a great idea. You know, the, the, the wick verse is so uh, rich for exploration. One of the great things about John wick was it could have been just your standard revenge thriller, but it created this whole world that we didn't know about, the Continental Hotel being this epicenter of Can't that world. Can't wait for that, by the way. I know, and now they're doing that series. That's moving forward. You got the the ballerina coming. And I think, look, the, the key to all this is Keanu Reeves. I mean, he is John Wick. So I think it makes sense. I mean, and and to have him as a recurring character, I mean, obviously the Wick verse is going to become, in its own way, like the MCU, I'm sure, because... You're gonna have all kinds of characters spinning off. I mean, the Continental's gotta be about the people that come stay at the Continental. It's not gonna be like James Brolin in Hotel, where they, you know, that old that show. It's not gonna be like that. It's gonna be I mean, I would would think it would be, maybe it is. But I think this is important. I think it's a, a it, it's his franchise after all. So why not? Let's see him in it. Let's see him maybe, maybe graduation to graduate the ballerinas, you have to fight John Wick. I wanna see Hannah Dahmer's take him on. Ooh. Ooh. Well, be didn't Angelica Houston's character train both kinds of assassins? Yeah. So that could be fun if she also comes back and we pair them up of like, which which sect does better? Hey, Chris, well, you hear about this. Do you think it's important that uh, Keanu Reeves shows up in this? Yes, it's his cinematic universe. He is the epicenter. Give him all of the things. And also, I mean, Keanu Reeves, like, there he is. Look at him. The Look wick verse. Him. There it is. Love him. I, you, it's just nice. And I know this is a silly thing because things don't have to be fair or nice in real life. But Keanu Reeves is such a gentleman and kind person that it's always just nice to see somebody have success who is like that because there's so many D-bags yeah. in Hollywood. So it's really, really refreshing to have someone who's just lovely, have a wonderful franchise. <laughs> I know we're also kind of burnt out on the idea of cinematic universes because everyone has one, right? But this is one that's still really, really fun and original. And I think this is going to be more good stuff. And I'm glad he's part of it. Okay, I love you again. That's okay. Oh my gosh, I already told the chat that I'm getting a new work husband. So um, <laughs> let's figure it out later, wow. I guess. Earn wow. me back. Here's, Woo me, Rob. Here's one of the interesting things about John Wick, though. John Wick 
when the first, I remember after watching John Wick for the first time, I came out of it wanting that world expanded. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like the, just the whole concept of the continental. I, I still remember my first review of the movie. I'm like, I'm fascinated with the mythology and the history of the continental. And I came out yearning for that. So it kind of let it, 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 if they do expand this out into its own cinematic universe, which scenes which they are doing with ballerina and, and with uh, the Continental, it feels quite organic. It doesn't feel like a force thing like a lot of the comic book ones do, where it's just like, well, we got to make it be in the same world and all this kind of stuff. This is really organic. And one of the reasons why I'm excited about it. So, I mean, so we've got a series coming, we got a movie coming, we've got the fourth installment of John Wick coming. They're, they've got a lot of stuff that they're doing here. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Keanu Reeves is going to make an appearance in the ballerina film with Anna de Armas. I don't know if it's going to be a big role, small role, whatever, but just his appearance, I think, is important. Maybe you don't think it is. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this episode, Amazon Pharmacy. Now, if you're anything like me, you dread going to the pharmacy. You never know what the hours are. You never know what you're going to pay. You're worried about being stuck in a huge line. And that's why you're going to love Amazon Pharmacy. Amazon Pharmacy delivers a better pharmacy experience that delivers directly to your door and works with most insurance plans. Amazon Pharmacy helps you save time, save money, and stay healthy. There's transparent pricing so you'll know exactly what you'll pay before you pay it. Prime members can also save up to 80% on their prescriptions. And like I mentioned earlier, Amazon Pharmacy works with most insurance plans. And this is one of the best parts. If you ever have any questions or problems, real pharmacists are always available at Amazon Pharmacy no matter what time of day or night. Your medication gets delivered to your door so there's no more rushing out to the store hoping to get there before they close. Amazon Pharmacy is a pharmacy that works for your life with meds delivered to your door. It doesn't get any better than that. Switch to Amazon Pharmacy and save time, save money, and stay healthy. Learn more at amazon.com slash campia. That's amazon.com slash campia. Average savings based on usage and inside RX data as compared to cash prices. Average savings for all generics are 78%, 37% for select brand medications. Restrictions apply.